there might be a future without pharma companies. When innovative startups and preventive healthcare are crushing the demand for pills, which is all the pharma industry is selling now, they are going to change their ways or they will vanish. Here is how. This is Bertalan Meshko and you are watching the channel of the medical future. The pharma industry is facing the greatest dangers of all time. First, this is an over-regulated industry because we need to make sure products are safe. Thus, it's slow to adopt innovation. The third reason is these companies do not really share data with each other in the era of information sharing. And the fourth point is they are selling pills, which is not enough anymore. They need integrated services with the pills or again, they will vanish. I thought I would collect the most important trends and technologies that are shaping the future of the pharma industry. Let's see them. First, empowered patients. Empowered patients are conscious about their health and disease management, and these patients want to take active part in managing their condition. Some patients even acquired or launched biotech companies to run their own clinical trials. One example is Solid Biosciences, which was launched by the father of a patient with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So what pharma will do with patients who can crowdsource the solutions for their health problems without their activities? The second is augmented and virtual reality. Now we read the descriptions of drugs and the side effects on paper, but very soon with devices like Oculus Rift or Google Glass or digital contact lenses, we will get more information, digital, three-dimensional, virtual information about those drugs. We will see how these work in action. And this is what these technologies can bring to the pharma industry. Number three is truly customized, personalized medicine. Now we get drugs which were manufactured for millions of people. These are called blockbuster drugs. But genetically, we are quite different. Our molecular makeup is absolutely different. So why not getting customized drugs? What if a patient can go, go to a pharmacist and get the drug printed out on demand without pharma companies? It leads me to my fourth point, 3D printing. With 3D printers, we can print out customized prosthetics, medical equipment, biomaterials, and now even drugs. Actually, the first 3D printed drug approved by the FDA was launched this summer in 2015 in epilepsy. And a Scottish group has been working on the methods to find a way to print out drugs on demand. That's gonna disrupt the whole pharma industry. Number five is body sensors. In clinical trials, the success of the treatment depends on what kind of and how much data we can obtain from patients over a couple of years. Imagine using digital tattoos and body sensors to obtain any kind of health parameters and vital signs. So we could make um, really informed decisions based on the data. It leads me to my sixth point, cognitive computers or artificial intelligence. By using supercomputers like IBM Watson, we could bring big data into the medical practice by making good decisions. It means that for the pharma industry, finally they will be able to run clinical trials in seconds instead of a decade or so and not costing billions of dollars, but using supercomputers to analyze the virtual physiological models of people by using thousands of new drug molecules. That could be the end of the era of human experimentation. So all these trends have the potentials to disrupt the pharma industry. And my point is, if you take an example like Nestle, the food and beverage company, they opened up a branch for 3D printing food. We do not print out food in 3D right now, but by the time we will, that company will have a whole branch with business models, experts and actual products. So they are thinking ahead by looking at the newest technologies. That's the right kind of approach. When I talk to pharma companies like Pfizer, J&J or Roche, they ask me about what kind of trends can disrupt their industry. And they also ask me whether there is a chance for them to miss the so-called digital train. And I tell them there is no train to miss. Now there are spaceships to build. Innovative startups and all these disruptive companies are changing the way the pharma industry is doing its job. And if they cannot change their methods, if they cannot change the business models, they will just vanish. That's how simple it is. 
So I hope that pharma companies can be more open to innovation in a way that products are kept safe. Thank you. Keep watching my videos to learn more about the future of medicine and stay up to date about the upcoming trends by reading my blog.